absolute value in open sentences. In this lesson, you will learn how to solve open sentences involving absolute value. We're going to solve and graph the absolute value of 3 minus h is less than 2. So the absolute value means the distance away from 0. Well, the distance away from the 0 that this expression is is less than 2 units. So that means on either side of 0, it's less than 2 units away. So we can say that negative 2 is less than 3 minus h, which is less than 2, because 3 minus h is less than 2 units in either direction. So if we have 0 here, 1 here, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, then, then our expression 3 minus h, if it's at 0, then it can only go up to 2 and down to negative 2. So now we need to figure out what, what values of h will satisfy this. So we subtract 3. Remember, on the previous lesson, we drew our dotted line through our inequalities, and then we subtract 3 on every side of that dotted line. So we have negative 5 is less than negative h is less than negative 1. But then we need to get rid of that negative there, so we can divide everything by negative 1. Now, when we divide negative 5 by negative 1, we get 5 is less than h, and then negative 1 divided by neg oh, that's greater than. Don't forget to switch your inequality sign. So then h is greater than, and then negative 1 over negative 1 is 1. Now, if you look, our inequalities are going the wrong direction, and our numbers aren't in order. So we can rewrite that as 1 is less than h is less than 5. So now we can put our open circle on 1 and open circle on 5 because we didn't have any equal to underneath and then we're shading in between. And you can choose some numbers to plug in to see if you're correct. You can take negative 1 or 0 is even easier. Take 0, plug it in. So 3 minus 0 gives you 3 is less than 2. Well, that's not true, and it wasn't part of our graph, so that part's good. You could also plug in 6, you can plug in 3, just to see what works and what doesn't. It's a good way to check your answer. Now we're going to solve and graph 3 halves is less than or equal to the absolute value of 2 plus 1 half x. Now, this problem is a little bit different because now we have our x on the left-hand side, and we're saying that this number is less than this. So we could say, we could say, okay, well, this is the distance away from 0, so it has to be greater than 3 halves away from 0. So if we have 0 here, then it has to be at least 1 and a half, which is the same thing as 3 halves, away. So going in this direction, and then 1 and a half in this direction, and going away from that. So that tells you that we're going to have a disjunction, where the last problem was a conjunction. This time we're going to have a disjunction. So our first step is to write 3 halves is less than or equal to 2 plus 1 half x or negative 3 halves is greater than or equal to 2 plus 1 half x. And we've changed the sign. We make this a negative. We change, make that opposite. And then we flip the sign to get our second inequality. All right, so now we're just solving them like we do any other inequality. So we're going to subtract 2. Well, actually, let's do, well, yeah, we'll do this. Subtract 2. We'll show it both ways. So 
3 halves, which is the same thing as 1 and a half, minus 2, well, that gives you negative 1 half, is less than or equal to 1 half x. Well, now we need to multiply both sides by a positive 2, so we don't need to flip any signs or anything. We get negative 1 is less than or equal to x, and you can also rewrite that as x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Now over here on the other side, let's try a different method. We could multiply the entire inequality by 2 to get rid of the fractions if you wish. So 2 times negative 3 halves gives you negative 3. 2 times 2, make sure we distribute it to everything. 2 times 2 gives you 4, and then 2 times 1 half gives you plus 1x. Then you can subtract your 4, and so we get negative 7 is greater than x, or greater than or equal to, sorry, um, which can be rewritten as x is less than or equal to negative 7. So now we want to go graph and I'm going to pick up my black pen. All right, so we know we need negative 7. So we'll go negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, change that to a negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. Okay, so let's graph the first one. So x is greater than or equal to neg negative 1. So we have a closed circle on negative 1, and it's greater than, so we're going to the right because our greater numbers are to the right. We need our arrow to show that it keeps on going. And then our x is less than or equal to negative 7, so we have a closed circle on negative 7. And then we're going to the left because it was less than So there's your graph, and up here we have or, I don't know why it's getting all funky like that. That's supposed to say or. And there you go. So x is less than or equal, I'm sorry, x is greater than or equal to negative 1, or x is less than or equal to negative 7, and there's the graph. Again, you can plug numbers in to check your answer.